Welcome back to the show, everyone. Craig and Jonah, we're back. We're back. Oh, seems like it's been forever. It's been like a it's been like a long abstinence period. <laughs> yep. Good to be here. Yeah, we've been um we've been uh sort of uh unavailable for uh for recording for a little bit. So we're back at it. This is gonna have to be a short episode because I do have domestic responsibilities, gotta get home and get those kids to school. But... That's important. So I got to tell you a little story. Right. So um, our um, our journey through the wilderness and natural family planning continues to be interesting. All right. We're still not pregnant as far as I know. So that's good. <laughs> All right. But uh, uh, how many cycles have you made? Uh, like four or five. That's like, like this, a record for you guys. This is like we're, we've we've lapped ourselves. This I think. is uncharted territory. This is uncharted territory <laughs> for us. So when you know when I say we 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 use NFP, we haven't had to use it. Well, we haven't used it very much because we always get pregnant right away. So it's that effective. It's, <laughs> we skew those results badly. <laughs> You're part of the point zero zero one percent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so, but you know, we're getting, we're getting old. And um, so last cycle, so we're using the Marquette method, which is without the Marquette method, we'd definitely be pregnant now. Let's just say that. Okay. Um, and uh, so last cycle, um, we followed all the rules. Okay. You get a window on the front end of about uh, five or six days, okay. which starts with the day one of the cycle. Period. So, yeah. Most most no. most of us are not ready to jump in, or at least our wives are not ready to jump in anything. <laughs> Take a lot to face you. I'm yeah, sorry. right. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. To, to the extent that my wife was saying, "You're lucky we're not Jewish because you have to be, stay off e hands off each other for a long time after the mm. cycle starts." So whatever. So all right, we see. would get no action at all <laughs> if we were if we were both uh, Jewish and Catholic. We oh. would not get to do anything. It's a all. rough combo then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You really want some uh, <laughs> hardcore trad stuff? Try to try to follow the Jewish rules and be Catholic. <laughs> so, are we talking like modern day Jewish rules or like Mosaic law? I don't think there's many modern Jews that follow all that stuff anymore. So I think you got to go back a ways. You got to got right. to be real trad <clears throat> trad on the Jewish front too. <laughs> no offense to any of our Jewish listeners. But yeah. The, no. I'm speaking with with very typical Catholic ignorance about anything non-Catholic. He even thinks it our Catholic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can barely get through the Catholic stuff. <sighs> I I I I can uh, I can commit heresy in multiple <laughs> religious denominations. <laughs> That's how fluent I am. That's great. Bilingual. <laughs> We can offend everybody yes. at the same time. Yes. Ugh. So, so we get this window on the front end of uh, about five or six days. Okay. okay. Which realistically gives you about one or two kicks of the cat if you're, okay. if you're real aggressive. Okay. And then, so like last, so I the, love the analogy with the cat. <laughs> I think we're gonna get that. <laughs> one track mind over yep, here. Yep, I got it. All right. So so we went through the rules and started doing and, and it gives you the it's measuring and it gives you a um low high or peak. Okay. That's what you're looking for. So we were low, 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 low. And finally it got to high. We're like, okay, got some hope here. High, 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 low. We got no peak. Hmm. So um we How we, does that happen? We're not sure yet. We're in an I don't know, we're anomaly. We must be pre still analyzing the data. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're throwing <laughs> we're in uncharted waters for the <laughs> Marquette method. But, All right. Uh to the extent we had to like reset the monitor at one point because the monitor ran out of like digits. And that is kind of the rule of NFP. When in doubt, abstain. Yes. <laughs> Here's a little suffering for you. This is the solution to any problem. Yep, just abstain. You got this. So, so we, so because of that, we never had a peak. And so we were abs abstaining right up until the end. So we got, I got one, got one, uh, chance, one, one uh, round last, last like, okay. It's fun. Yeah. This is fun, guys. This is, 
<laughs> and how many days long was that? Uh, it, fortunately, it ended after like tw- it was like a normal size cycle, 28, 29 okay. days. So, so this is the stuff they don't tell you about in the in the NFT training classes. You get one, you chance. Get one chance. That cycle. So you better enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean we're we were glad that we didn't she, to the extent she even took a pregnancy test just just she to, doesn't which i don't know how that was gonna happen it couldn't have been me but um wonder if amazon has sent more pregnancy tests to your health anywhere else on the planet <laughs> she's got a monthly subscription <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh man that's funny so so finally, okay. So we finally survived that cycle, didn't get pregnant, and uh, so yeah, a couple of days ago, I said, uh, "So what's the?" She still, fortunately, my wife doesn't listen to the show anymore, so I can talk a little more freely. But she still doesn't like to talk about any of this stuff, really. Like okay. so, like last last cycle when we were going through this, I said so peak yet she's like no and I was annoyed that she had to explain i'm like do you want me to do you want me to be informed about it or not mm-hmm. uh, i think she was more annoyed with her body than she was with me but i was sometimes it's tough to tell yeah <laughs> it's easier to give feedback to your husband than to um, you your, body. your body i guess yeah, so true. anyway so i was the recipient of that frustration <laughs> But still you persevered so now what i do uh since she won't talk about it i just i i know where she hides the chart and so i just oh, get the chart to see she hides the up. chart up she doesn't hold it out in the open she doesn't oh i wasn't sure if it was like just a calendar kind of thing no she's got her little spot okay. didn't tell me where it was at so hmm. <laughs> it's like peeking at her diary <laughs> and it kind of involves me yeah so anyway so that was that was last cycle so we got hmm. like i said we got one one shot at it all right to the extent that uh that we were the night before the cycle i was like and she she's like uh-uh this was, i'm like and i was so mad the next time. <laughs> the night before the cycle <laughs> so so this Just nothing was stirring not even no, a mouse no stop sign came up yeah and uh and so so this cycle, I was like, so it's like, so what? What's our what's our window on the front end? She's like, well, I start, I have to start testing on day six. So you got five free days on the front end, of which three for practice, three to four. I don't. Know, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, you suppose we could do it twice? Yeah. She's like, <sighs> like no matter how much we do it, it's never going to be enough. I'm like, we did it one time last night. <laughs> I'm asking for twice. <laughs> Doubling. Just. Hmm. <laughs> so far, we haven't got one. So the clock is is running. Oh, the clock is ticking. Midnight is coming soon. Yeah. It's been a long, it's been a long time since we've done anything back to back. We're not like these young couples over here. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, she usually feels guilty enough to to make sure we get one one try in there. So. Guilty, yeah. <laughs> Call marital debt or whatever marital guilt. <laughs> so, so anyway, that's the uh, that's the trials and tribulation of uh, natural family planning. Oh, that's pretty funny. Well, yeah, I don't know, man. That's uh, once in a month, you know, asking for twice. That's. I don't know. That doesn't seem like too much. Depends who you ask, I guess. <laughs> That's true. You don't want to enjoy it too much, or well, focus on the pleasure. Yeah. So I'm in a I'm in a, a, a YouTube comment feud with the guy that I think I'm going to be doing a, an interview with next weekend, uh, who says uh-uh, NFP's evil, buddy. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know. So he he. Every time we talk, he goes back and he cites to Casty Kanubi. That's his go-to. Okay. okay. All right. And uh, and I, so I kept probing him. I was like, I'm like, what are you talking about? NFP is evil. Like, what part? Well, finally, after about 100 comments, it basically says, look, 
either you're trying to get pregnant because that's the purpose of the marital act is to get pregnant okay. or you're not trying to get pregnant and then it's total con continence is the old-fashioned word but total yeah. abstinence no none of this this liberal uh theology of the body humani vitae you know using using the infertile time nah you you stay away from each other as long as it takes until you're ready to have another baby again mm. so that's a yeah it's a pretty rough approach i don't know I'm sure that guy's wife loves him oh yeah you know she's a real <laughs> We're going to find out. Yeah, I but, don't know. I'm skeptical of that approach. Now, uh, if, if if you're down to like once a month or indefinite, I'm not sure. I'm not sure once a month is easier than just completely just shriveling up and being a celibate for a while. Uh, and living by yourself, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> just to avoid all temptation. Gonna move out. I'm going to go sleep in Jonah's basement. <laughs> Huh. Oh, well, so, I don't know. That'll be interesting. Yeah, I mean, it seems like a hard sell now. To I mean, we can't even get people to use NFP. Yeah. But now we're going to take it a step further and say, uh -uh. That's the you're, you're all on or you're all off. Traditional approach. Yeah. Have fun with that. That's not for me. Yeah, I mean, because, uh, you know, even if somebody did say that or somebody did rule that that was the proper, you know, end of sex. There's lots of other rules that have changed too, like charging interest on loans. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you know, the sex during Lent, sex during Advent, uh, mm -hmm. you know, slavery, the way that that was perceived. I mean, there's been a lot of things that have changed. So I don't know. Let you be an anathema, Jonah, for suggesting that yeah. we apply the same standard. <laughs> That's your favorite phrase now. Yep. <laughs> You're just a, just a heretic and a modernist, Jonah. You know, this is I, your preferred sin that you like to have occasional relations with your wife. I like regular. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not even for occasional. I like regular. <laughs> it's your concupiscence, Jonah. Yeah, yeah. It's just my concupiscence telling me to be in with my wife. And, and all that uh, joy and happiness and good atmosphere you got in your house now? <laughs> That's it's all, all crap. It's just... That's part of the plot. That is what they say. And, you know, I will say that that does make me think, but I just don't think it's true. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, but maybe that's my concupiscence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got one thing to say. Let's go, Jonah. All go right. for it. <clears throat> so the other day, I can't remember what we were doing. Oh, I think we were outside flying kites with the kids or whatever, and we just took some photos and it was fun. Came back in and my wife was looking at the photos and Dolores is like, I look kind of old in this photo. And what's, the, what's, what's, the, what's the correct response? <laughs> okay. I'll... Fake a heart attack? <laughs> I just said, oh, I think you just, you look kind of tired. Wrong response. Oh, damn. Well, because normally I think my life is typically very honest with me. <laughs> That's a one-way street, by the way. So, just word of the wise out there, the correct answer is no. You look just as beautiful as on her wedding day. She's not gonna. Does she know? She's gonna say you're lying. But that's better than saying she looks tired. <laughs> well, luckily, though, she did tell me that she wasn't thrilled with my response, but um, things recovered quickly. So we're in a good shape. Out of boy. Got knocked down and got, got yep, right got back, right back, back up, up on there. Yep, yep. Just, uh, you know, you can smooth anything over with a good back rub. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're doing here, but don't stop. Yeah. <laughs> what? That's true. <laughs> yep. My, my, I have the same problem with my wife. And, uh, you know, my wife, you know, I've always thought my wife was beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, after nine children, I mean, after nine children, my wife looked better than I would say a lot of women after a couple of kids. That's that's yeah. the honest to God truth. Um, but you know, you you're you know you're not you're not the size and shape you were when we got or after the first few kids or whatever. 
And so uh she... you aren't the same size either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen we haven't seen uh you know the college Craig in a long long time. <laughs> He's under here somewhere. It's just he's well protected now. But um, so my wife, she's done amazing. She's gone on one of these diets, and she looks incredible. And I said, "Man, you look really good." She's like, "Well, you would you you would say that anyway." I'm like, "Yeah." She's like, "You used to say that when I when I before I went on a diet." I said, "Yeah, you were beautiful then." But I said, "You're really good now." Yeah. Yeah. Nice um, move. Yeah. Nice smooth. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I'm wrecking anything. I get one time a month. Like, it's... Uh, <laughs> as long as it's not on, like, day four. Like, that would be... Yeah, it's, that's a... <laughs> you better choose your words carefully on day four. Yeah, you... But, you know, once you get to Good day... advice. Once you get to day six, it's like... <laughs> I got... I got 20-some 20, 20 days to for her to forget about it. And even my wife's memory and grudges don't last that long anymore. Oh, there's so many other things happening with the nine kids that, you know, she'll forget about you after that's a few right. days. Yeah. I'm sure I'll do something you, dumber in the meantime. Do something noteworthy. Yeah. You get remembered for that long. Yeah, that's right. Yep. So, so <laughs> last week I uh, was, I had to travel. I was working out in a different gym and there were some big freaking guys in there, you know? And so I was thinking, you know, comparison is the thief of joy. Yeah. Right. But so, Really, though, then I stopped and I looked around the room, you know, after a few days. And I was like, you know, really, there's only like a handful of guys that, you know, are really mm -hmm. that much bigger. And those guys could have been on steroids or whatever. Like the one guy was massively ripped. He didn't even really work out. He just came in and sat and looked on his phone and then went <laughs> home. So I don't know if he was just there to like be Instagram pictures just to be like, you know, adored like a Greek god. I don't know. But <laughs> it could be Instagram. But, uh, you know, I was just thinking about how. That's just how life is. You know, like we only see the few people that you really kind of envy mm -hmm. and everybody else, you know, it's, it's easy to lose track of that. Just uh... not true with us. This is, <laughs> this is what you get <laughs> yeah, that... in, in my house or in, in the podcast studio. <laughs> That's for sure. And the one guy, he, I was listening to him talk to somebody else. It sounded like he basically lived at the gym. It's like, would I really want that? You know, do I want to have to do that? to achieve that kind of, you know, fitness. And it's yeah. like, no. There's a trade-off, yeah. But then there was one guy who he was, you know, like I said, really impressive looking. He didn't even work out. But every woman in there looked at him. <laughs> and I don't know if you really want that either. Maybe a little bit. I'd like to know what that feels like. <laughs> a little while. <laughs> I thought the same thing. Yeah. Because literally every woman just looked at him with the long look, yeah. you know. And I gave him the same look. <laughs> Because I mean, he was pretty, pretty impressive. impressive, yeah. But I mean, he definitely could have been on some some juice. I don't know. We'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know, and I'll never know. So. <laughs> yep. So I don't know. Let's see if I got it. Oh, you know what? So while I was traveling, it's just interesting. So I was in the airport, and it's interesting to look what's on people's phones. You know, like there was. One lady who was just watching TikTok, but she was just watching cooking videos, like just just scrolling through them, just watching cooking videos, like where somebody was maybe trying goofy stuff or something. I don't know, but it's like, man, that looks boring, you know. And uh, then there was one guy, who he was probably like late thirties. This is a tip: if you're in your late thirties and you're watching anime out in the open, it just throws off a creepy vibe, you know. I mean, I'm not saying he was doing anything wrong, but it was just like. I don't know about watching anime cartoons at that age. And uh, what else? Oh, there was one imagine, more. imagine being the poor guy that's sitting in the airport scrolling, and then all of a sudden he pops up this video of two, two guys uh, joking about masturbation. Hopefully he had his earbuds in. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Yeah, man, I don't know. But yeah, there's there's all kinds of people out there in the world. So we're just trying to bring everybody closer to God, yeah. I guess. We're here for everyone. We are, that's for sure. So. Yeah, we've had a lot of uh, we've had, we gotten a lot of really great messages recently. We're really excited about kind of where where the show is going, and so uh, we have to wrap this one up. But uh, I want to put a plug in for our newsletter. Um, please uh, subscribe to our newsletter. There'll be a link to that below. Um, 
it's uh it's gonna be fun we've got some fun stuff coming up we're going on kevin on Tradicast channel um that should be should be a lot of fun and hopefully hopefully episode 200 will get around that maybe we'll get some uh i got a i got a request out to father ripperger really had to no he's he's a busy guy i mean maybe he's vetting us i don't know um i well, i'm okay not... if he just ghosts us and never responds i'm I'm okay if we never have to have that conversation but... i don't know man i mean it would be it would be interesting i'll say that you're gonna bring your little candle in here though when we have that i can talk to him about that for sure all right you know we would have a very real conversation about a lot of things yeah you know one of them being, I like how he recommends that sex can be just like it is with rabbits, you yeah. know, where you just do it and it's over. I'm not really a huge fan of that. I don't think anybody is. He's spoken <laughs> like a guy that's single, you know. Yeah. Well, maybe we can get him on and give him a little uh, dose of reality. Maybe? That's true. Maybe most people are, you know, I think that most people may be kind of intimidated to stand up to somebody like that. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, I'm not going to challenge him on the exorcism stuff, yeah. but when it comes to sex, I feel like I probably. Yeah. Have- experience i'm just gonna say that's like, right I mean, stay in your lane buddy yeah true you know you know exorcisms and we know sex yeah. we know abstinence and we know... <laughs> well he knows abstinence okay. too but not the same way he's no. never lived with a woman so it's not the same that's right so stay tuned for that if if father ripinger is out there say years of abstinence living as a single man may be the equivalent to living to as one week you know as a, as a man with a woman in the same house i agree know, that you're attracted to i agree yeah all right all right Whew. All right, Jonah, I got to go get kids to school so that I uh, don't uh, ang- anger the wife because I got uh, what? Oh, because it's early. It's, it's like day five or whatever. I think, t- I think today's day four to five. So oh, you better be, better be on ball on the ball. Wish me luck, guys. All right. <laughs> We're falling for you. All right. Well, thank you, Jonah. Good thank luck you. kicking the cat. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Until next time, everyone. All right. Bye bye. Have a good one.